I've had enough. Can you tell I've had enough? Yeah, well... Yeah, is it coming across? I hope the audience... Well, you know, I, audience, is it... Is it, is it, is it does it sound like George? Is it sound like the, is it sound like the meerkat audience? I don't know. I don't want. I don't want there to be any any doubt in any. And you know what's funny? What's the funniest thing of all? Yes. I'm still not fucking sure. Am I tatter out? George, he has to go home. Where do we go from here, Sean? No, George. We. We've this is this so is the far thing. down this road. No. I I refuse. I refuse to say that he. No. I. There are alternatives, but. They won't take the alternative. They'll take us further down until it is too late. I'm telling you. That's how human what, what, nature What is. I mean is, we've gone so far down this road this, towards this destination that we've realized we're on the wrong road, but it's too late to go back. So he's not going back. Whatever, you have destination, to remember, whatever destination he's going to take us to, we might just as well go there because it's better being in this fucking no man's land or turning back and not knowing whether you've got the energy to get back to the beginning again. It just, might be that we just have to fucking go with it. We just have to live with it. We have to accept it. No, uh, George, I am not accepting it, but I know it's inevitable because there's too much at stake. There's too much for the, the crankies to step back and say, for example, yesterday I'm watching, I'm watching, um, Brighton play, who was it again? Um, Everton. Everton, yes. And I'm saying to myself, when I see the, 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 po the paucity of the striking, the build-up play is nice, and I see um, the fellow, the name that starts with D, um, the striker, uh, everybody, you know, just missing the half chances. Um, I don't remember his name. Do, 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 do what? Do... I, f I forget his name, George. It comes not, it was, I wasn't thinking about... I didn't give a lot of thought uh, to his name before this. Dupree. Is it Dupree? No, it's not Dupree. But their striker, miss, he missed two very... And there were half chances. Presentable, but half chances. And I said, you know, would 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 would, Wenger, would Arsenal take a chance on um, on, on Gra Graham Potter? And then um, later I saw some uh, Islington Gunners say, it voiced the same thing. I, and I decided I wasn't going to say it. I said, no, they would not. There would be an admission that the last three years has been a total disaster. And most of all, our, those bloggers and the media and all those people who spent the last, George, not two years, but 12 years saying that Wenger was, that top four was not good enough, that you know, aspiring for top four was was a signal of of secondary aspirations. They would be looking like total fools. How could they? And I'm saying to myself, but you know, but Elwood um, Potter. <laughs> and there's a Graham Elwood in my life. Potter would be like the kind of coach who could rebuild Arsenal, but it's not going to happen. I don't know if you you, you, you see why. It's not going to happen. I, I, of course I see why. I understand why. I can say that they fucked up, fuck up after fuck up. And how many fuck ups can they admit to? And they've got to draw the line somewhere. They've got to, oh, no, they're going to go with them. And, and f the results don't matter. The, the style of play no longer matters. I don't think anything fucking matters. You know, it, it's, just a, it's just a fucking mess. And, and I don't see an answer to it because I don't see them doing anything positive to change the situation. And uh, we're just going to have to live with it. We're going to have to put up with the crap that he's going to turn out. We're going to have to put up with the sound bites and uh, and just be thankful that he looks good on the touchline because that's it. That's fucking it. You know, and, but, but eventually, the press, bloggers, tweeters will turn on him. They will shut him. They'll, they'll, it'll, they'll come a point and it, it'll be like a, a sea change where all of a sudden the ocean flows in and More peace. everybody comes to the realisation that it's shit. At yeah. the moment, people are still clinging on to the hope yeah. 
for some reason, they're seeing things that aren't there and thinking it could get better. When there's no evidence at all, nothing to suggest it will get better. Um, that's it. That, well, that's where we are. And so, that, that's, that, that's what I expect. It go to the level where it's absolute the, uh, desperation level. And, and I've, you know, you have seen it in your time. Uh, you know, I saw where Aston Villa was challenging at one point, do you remember, for our top four spot? Yeah, they spent yeah. money, money after money, and then they ended up in the championship. They even went after their, their, their former star when they were European championship champions to rebuild the team, and he failed, you know, and the, 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 American, the American owners gave up. Just simply sold the team for pennies. <laughs> but, you know, I've seen, uh, well, I've seen Leeds, the descent of Leeds. Now Leeds, Leeds, if I'm a Leeds fan, I'm, you know, getting rid of all the, the, the extremes and excesses. I'd be like as happy as a bug in a rug to, to see where my team is today. Would I be thinking that, I, you know, I need the old traditional Leeds? Of course not. I'm the Marcel and do whatever you want to do. Select who you want to do. But no. Our our big bloggers and, 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 and our super, super super tweeters and podcasters would be wanting to tell Bielsa what team to select, <laughs> who to go sign, even though he's been told he doesn't have a budget. That's what they would do. You, you know? see, this is another thing about the, the, the ridiculousness of our situation. If you listen to these podcasts, if you read these blogs, they'll tell you who he shouldn't be playing, who yes. he should be playing, what tactics he should be employing, who he should be buying, who he should be selling. All those things will tell you that's what he should be doing, that he's not doing. And then at the end, we'll say, but he's doing a good job. <laughs> well, I trust him. You, but you don't fucking trust him because you're telling him all the things that you're doing wrong. Yes, it's fucking ridiculous. A critic is he gets criticised and told what to do, and the conclusion is not that he's doing a bad job, that he's doing a good job. How can that be? Mm. It's fucking nonsense. Come on, fucking people. Well, stop doing this to me. Stop confusing me. No, no, Just no. fucking all up that you got it wrong. We've got it wrong, and. Uh, do something about it. No, that's but too... like I said, I'm still, I'm saying all this now. And if you said to me, "Well, should he be sacked?" I don't fucking know. No, George, it's... because it's such a fucking mess that you almost feel like saying, "Well, you got us in this fucking shite. You get us out." I would sack him in a minute, me personally. And you know what? I've had enough now. I would sack him in a minute, <laughs> and I would. <laughs> I would go, and being since we don't have any money, I would go and make Brighton an offer they can't refuse. I say I am in a rebuild here. I'm going to give Grand Potter a chance three years. Or somebody like that, who's hungry, who wants a team of quality players to work with. And God, I know we would be in the top four in, a, in at least three years. But no, it's not going to happen. George, by the way, the name of the player from Brighton is Moppy. Yeah, Moppy. Uh, yeah, Moppy. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Came back to me. Yeah? Anyway, let's, let's, yeah. let's wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, let's wrap this up, George. I'm, We've been going... I'm depressing myself here. And you're going to depress our loyal listeners. <laughs> but, my friend, thank you very much. Um, we'll do this again after. Is it? It's Fulham. Yeah. <laughs> I hope your health's better. Yes, I'll get. I'm, I'm getting next better. Few days. Yes. Thank you very much, George. All the best, my friend. See you later. Bye. Bye. This concludes. Another edition of the Positively Uncensored Arsenal podcast. Show your appreciation of our podcast by subscribing and clicking the like button wherever you listen. This really helps in growing our support among honest and biased fans who recognize that Wenger's legacy is fundamental. Free-flowing attacking football by a club with integrity and class. Thanks for listening.